so that uh, the cone will be drawn inside from the top with those lines and then you will need to spread it on the table. And next step is that you will need to lay it out. I'm using clamps in the corners on the table so that I will spread one panel out and I will take the top here as the full top side is sort of a drawn in and the next thing is that you will leave the same color panel on top and use this also to clamp in the corner and I will follow with this next corner so that now we have the blue color on the bottom and uh, on top and the next thing is that I will organize the white side panels so that it's, fold it's folded nicely inside and same to the other side as well so we make sure that all these panels inside here they will meet in the middle and now I will need a helping hand on the top because we will then take this panel take it there and put it along this line so now the table center is about 80 centimeters away and we will take the same on the top piece so that everything here remains nicely and neatly folded inside. And then when you have laid it out here with the, with the corners uh, stretched out and everything is nice and flat, you will then take one fold around 15 centimeters from the top and you will fold it back so that this length here is about the length of the stroke of the piston in the launcher that you are planning to use. Now you can remove the corner clamp and you will fold this so that the lines will come to somewhat center. It's a little bit crossing the center line. If you want to be more secure about everything staying in place you can use the clamps. And then the next corner will follow the same pattern here. And our idea is actually to get the lines somewhat in, in a same length so that they can be folded inside in the figure 8 which will uh, be done next. And now we will move on and we will take the lines so that we make one fold here so that the lines will come out at roughly the same place. Then we will take the other side and follow with the same pattern here. And now comes the trick of taking the lines to form a loose figure eight. slippers sometimes so just be patient and move the, make the figure eight so that it's getting smaller as we've gone and 
let the line out at the same place where you decide the depth of the package, those first folds that you did here. And we will then. The next thing is I will fold another set fold here, which means that I'm hiding the figure eight inside the package. Not trying not to mix any of those lines that are here. And now I'm, I'm getting the shape. I will make sure that my tube is loaded. And what I'll do next is I'm doing the figure Z so that I start with the small Z and I'm making it a little bit bigger as I move on so that it follows the round shape uh, in the packing. So that now on the sides I'm having much much smaller and the thickest point is in the middle and everything is correctly done if it nicely fits into the launch tube as you can see now the cap should be tight enough to hold everything inside so the package is ready thank you here we have, actually we have uh, received some questions about if the cap feels a little bit loose. So we encourage you to use your best judgment. And if there's any doubt about fitting the cap tightly, you definitely don't want the cap to come loose while you're here. So you can use two about five to six millimeter wide pieces of masking tape on two sides every time you package. This is strong enough to hold it in the place, but we are never strong enough to to keep the cap closed when uh, when you deploy the parachute. Thank you. There. And now we are arming it and turning it upside down and we can see it's actually 